I knew what it, I knew what it would be straight away before before I made with it. And there I looked across the field after I'd finished, and there it was, nice and just level. like a bowling green. Yep. Left it, and it was pretty rough paddock too. And it, and it done an amazing job. Yep. Yep. We're happy as pigs in muck. We are. I'm, uh, my name is Terry Franks. I come from Riverston. I've been out in the country. I've been around a bit, you know, from 32 and some months. And I lie about my age quite a lot. And I've done quite a bit of mowing in my time. Hi, I'm Michael Sheehy. We're at uh, Glossodia, New South Wales. I've got the mower here for our little property to keep it all nice and tidy. Uh, we do have snakes in New South Wales and I have four little boys and they're very inquisitive and um, they watch a lot, a lot of documentaries on snakes and all that so they think they can be the same as people pick them up and I like to keep the grass nice and flat and clean that way if we do have a snake problem we can see it and the, my boys aren't wandering off into the grass. I went, I went looking at mowers because it's my favourite shop up there at North Richmond and they're lovely people to deal with the Pappas and uh, I bought a fireplace off them, a Scandinavian one, the best in the yachtle. And I walked around the back and I had a look at the mowers while I was there. I couldn't help myself, you know. And I had a whole range of mowers in the back there, you know. And I saw the ones with the, the big coil springs, the suspensions on. I won't mention the name, but uh, I cast my eye on this, you know. And the more I looked at it, the more I got torn in, drawn into it, you know. All the features of it, and, and young James has been terrific, you know, he's put us on the right track. I said, uh, I like it so much I'll get two. I couldn't help myself. Anything you like, you've got to have a second one. A second one. Never <laughs> In case one breaks down, which it never does. And uh, just couldn't help ourselves, could we, Michael? No, we couldn't, no. We spent hours like little kids looking over this, we're tilting the cab up and down, lifting the deck up and down, asking James all the questions. The more we looked, the more grease nipples we could find. And we went away with a brochure, for what a great design machine. They really put thought into this. It's just not a mass produced machine what's got a pressed metal deck and it's just about grabbing the money and run and no after service sales. All parts are available very readily for this machine if they're needed. But I see this machine going for quite some amount of years, being all greasable and tilted up. You can blow all the dust and grass out. It's yeah. not on a rust out. Yeah. Same with the deck. It's a nice smooth bottom under the deck. You can hose it off when you finish. It keeps all the acids and tannic acids of the grass out. Yeah. I, like, I like all the fundamentals of it, you know, and it's a tough machine. It's well built and it's got all the features in it I like, especially that tilt deck at the front. It's marvellous and the double cross blades. Double cut every time you go. It leaves the lawns beautiful. And it's got a good sized powerful motor in it and the best seat in the house. Very comfortable. You're right in full command, wherever you go. You can see exactly, you can mow around the smallest in the tight, tightest areas, you know, and that's without no problem. The, other mowers that are dragging them behind and they've got them underneath the vehicle, you know, you don't know where you're going half the time. But you can see you cut all the time with this. Because the deck, when you're sitting on the mower, it's in front of you, you can actually see the deck pivot and float and rock left to right and follow the terrain of the ground. And it's just quite amazing when, after you come around and you see where you've just cut, you do, it just looks like someone's just been there with a pair of scissors and just made everything spot on. You can mow on any sort of bank. Oh, there's some really wild ones at the school. And, uh, steep terrain. You'll get um, real steep banks and everything and if you use your, your head and you've got a good mower like this you can get over a lot of places you know and it still looks nice when you when you're finished. Just you just go like that Michael. Yep lift it up. And lift her up. Even if you do there stall it. There it is you, got, you can see straight it. away unclog it down you go, you go and away you go again. Yep. Not a problem. That's right, you, you mow them spots, like for a contractor, if he's mowing somewhere where he's never seen before, there could be bricks or people do put a bit of rubbish in their yard sometimes and the mower picks up the wire and it runs it wraps around the springles, you can just cut it off in a matter of minutes and keep going. Other mowers would have to find stands to put them up on, it could be dangerous, they could slip away on you and uh, if it's a job you're doing by yourself, you could actually get trapped under the machine and you're stuck there. Very low centre of gravity which is really important, you're right there on the job. You're right there, you can't, you can't right. miss anything, you know? <coughs> that low centre of gravity, it's, 
you can get into places where a lot of mowers can't. And the walker does a spot on job every time. It's so, ch so cheap and to run with the fuel injected engine. I can cut the whole five acres on, on an estimated 10 litres of petrol, which is quite nice. I say just get a hold of yourself and have a real good look at the machinery, you know. Yeah. And, and, go and, and go and test drive one. Test ride it. You only got to go to your local dealer, your nearest one, and I'll put you on one and you'll see, you'll see how good it is.